Hello everyone, Danaz here with Action VFX. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of mats, including how to use Alpha and Luma Mat in Adobe After Effects. We will be using several Action VFX assets collection to demonstrate some cool things that you can do with mats. And also, while this tutorial is in After Effects, this technique is applicable to any VFX software. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so in compositing, mats refer to a color textures or images that can be used to cut out or obscure a shot or a layer. Mats can be embedded inside the layer itself, usually in the form of alpha channels, or it can also be taken from a different source or layer. In After Effects, there are features called the alpha and luma mat that allows you to do just that, cutting a layer using another layer. So before we start on the alpha mats and luma mats, let's first talk about channels. So every image layer consists of at least four channels, red, green, and blue, and alpha or RGBA. These channels combined make up the image that you are looking at on your screen. So here I have this color gradient pre-comp. So first let's go to the red channel, which showcases the amount of redness in our layer. Here we can see that the value is determined by a monochrome color of white and black and everything in between with white simulating the reddest part of our layer and the black showcases the place with the least red color. This is how it goes in every channel. So if we go to the green channel, the white color is now present over here because this is the most green area of the layer. And then go with the blue and this is where the blue was. So this is the most brightest. So one thing that you probably notice is that the white color at the bottom here is the same on every channel. That is because the color white is the result of combination between the three RGB channels. So if you add red, green, and blue, you will have white. That is why the white color is present in all the channels. And then the fourth channel, we have the alpha channel. So the alpha channel dictates the transparency of our layer. So if we go back here and let's turn on our transparency grid, we see that everything in the middle is very solid, but as we get to the side, it is getting more transparent. So it is symbolizes in the alpha channel with the middle being super white, and then it gradually becomes darker and darker as it becomes more transparent. So that was a brief overview of our channels. So we have three color channels, the red, green, and blue, or RGB, and one channel that dictates the transparency, which is the alpha channel. So now let's go back to talking about alpha and luma mat. So to access them in After Effects, you need at least two layers in the composition timeline. And then you want to go to the side of the timeline, and you will have this track mat tab that consists of the option to pick alpha and luma mat. If you do not see this, you can just click on the toggle switch at the bottom here, or you can just right click on here, go to columns and click on modes. So here I have these two layers. So let's solo them one by one. First, we have a logo. It's blue and white. And then we have the alpha channel. So our logo here has a transparent background. And then we have this fire from the big guest fire collection. And it also has color and alpha channel. So again, this fire is also has transparent background. So now I want to cut out my fire here based on our logo and text. So first what we want is we want to make sure the fire is below the logo. And then we want to go to the track mat and change it to alpha mat towards the action VFX logo. So now this is what we have. So what is happening here is our fire has been cut out based on the alpha channel of our logo. And as you can see that our logo layer has now been disabled because we only using this as our alpha map. And then if we go to our alpha channel of the entire shot, we see that the alpha channel of our fire has been cut out by the alpha channel of the logo. And because the alpha mat and the fire are two separate layers, what we can do is we can actually move any of those layers individually if you like. And then after that, we have alpha inverted, which is basically just inverting the black and white color of the alpha mat. So if we click on alpha inverted, 
boom. So we are inverting the alpha of the layer on top. And then we have luma matte. Luma matte, which stands for luminance or brightness, is again basically the same deal as alpha matte, but instead of taking the alpha of the logo of the layer on top, we are taking the brightness from the RGB channel of this logo. So here in our logo, we have an overall solid alpha channel, of course, like we remember. But for the RGB channel, for the color-wise, we can see there's a little bit of different luminance between the logo and our text. But if you want to make sure about like what the luminance of our RGB channel actually look like, you can get tint and add it to the mat. So basically, we can tell that our text is very bright, very white, and our logo is a bit of gray. So that means if we luma matte our fire to the logo, we will have a very solid cutout on the text area, but for the logo, it would be a bit more or less transparent. So let's see if I'm right. So let's go to the fire again and luma matte, and there we go. See how the part of the logo is a bit more dim compared to the text, where we can see the fire very clearly. And then of course, we also have the luma inverted, which is just an inversion of the luma mat. So one of the uses of this alpha mats method is to add a texture to a shape. For example, on our forest fire collection, we provide two type of files, the fire burning on the trees on the foliages and the PNG matte texture of the trees that the fire is burning on. So for example, I have this shot and I have this forest fire assets and then below those fires, we have the matte textures. And as you can see, the mat is a solid black color with an alpha channel on the shape of the tree. So while what we have is already looking pretty great, I want to add a bit of leaf texture on the mat instead of just a solid black color. So let's add this leaf bush texture that I found from unsplash.com and put it below one of the mat. And then let's alpha mat it. So toggle switch and alpha mat and then let's solo our texture for now and scale it down until it looks right there we go and disable it and this is what we have see how different it is this is before which is just a solid black and now this is after now we have a bit more texture on the mat so let's do the same to the other mat of the other fire and this is what we have. We have added texture to the forest mat, making the comp even more realistic. So next we have this portal asset from our free portal collection. Yes, they are free. You can get this right now on our website. So this portal effects just like the forest fires are also accompanied by matte layers for each of the portals. That way we can use these mats to add something inside the portal holes. So let's get our portal to our composition here. Now currently, we have a really black background that is because the portal doesn't have an alpha channel. So I want to actually just use the screen mode to disable all the black background. And then let's add the portal mat below our portal effects. And there we go. So now as you can see, adding our portal hole mat has covered our background back into black because our mat here has a solid alpha. If we look at the alpha channel, it's all solid white. So this black and white matte texture is only available on the RGB channel. So that way, if we, let's say, bring our background that we want to put inside the portal hole, and then we want to alpha matte it, it's not being cut out to the shape of the hole because we are doing an alpha matte when the layer doesn't have texture on the alpha. It's all just solid white. So what we can do is, of course, maybe use an effects like shift channel and then we want to take the alpha from one of the RGB channel or just the overall luminance. And there we go. We have successfully alpha matted. So we can go that direction or you can just do a very simple luma mat. So let's delete this and let's turn on our mat again. Once again, because we have the mat texture on the RGB channel, not the alpha channel. So let's change this to luma mat. And there we go. We have successfully add a background inside of the portal hole. Now, one of my favorite way to use mats is to use it to create a realistic reflection surface, just like what you are seeing on my forest fire composition and the portal composition. So what you need 
to create a realistic reflection is you need the reflection layer. And my reflection layer is very, very simple. Basically, I created an adjustment layer that I have added a mirror effects to flip the image and then add some fast blur and then blur it again. And then I created some mask to isolate the blur so it doesn't affect the fire, only affect the reflection. Now, the, of course, there are many ways to create reflection. You can just simply pre-compose the fire elements and then duplicate and flip the pre-composition. Whatever way you create your reflection, all you need is a singular layer of your reflection. So now to make this reflection a bit more realistic is to add a surface texture. And I'm going to add this mud texture from our surface imperfection collection. There we go. So now we are going to turn it to 3D. So click the toggle switch and turn it to 3D. And we want to position it to fit our floor. And then what we want is we want to match our reflection to the mud. Now, since our mud doesn't have an alpha channel, it's all solid white, what we can do is to use the RGB channel or the color channel. So we are going to use the luma mat. And there we go. Now I'm not really feeling it because we are losing a lot of the reflection. So let's try switch the luma mat to luma inverted and see if we have a better look. And there we go. Perfect, we have our reflection and we have this imperfection that is creating a more rough, realistic look. And that was the introduction of mats and how to use them. Basically, mats are a very crucial part of VFX compositing, and learning more about them will really elevate your VFX compositing game. If you want to try these techniques, you're gonna need some high quality VFX assets. So don't miss out on our Action VFX VFX mask sale that is currently going on from the 21st to 25th of December. Or if you want to purchase our assets at any time, you can just go to our website at actionvfx.com. At Action VFX, we provide high quality VFX assets for your VFX needs. We have fire, explosions, energy, and many, many others. You can also sign up for our Action VFX subscription starting at the low cost of $14.99 a month. This is the most affordable way to access our library and you can cancel anytime, no contract. Thank you so much for watching, let us know in the comment section below what kind of tutorials that you'd like to see next. And see you next time, bye bye.